People between the ages of 16 and 35 were responsible for more than 60% of all DUI crashes in Texas last year. That's why TxDOT says encouraging young drivers not to get behind the wheel after drinking is so important. KXAN's Wes Rappaport shows us how they're making an impact. These college students are learning about a life-saving concept related to drinking and driving. Don't do it. It's a virtual dodgeball game, which increases reaction time as it adds more alcohol to your tally. The first time without any drinks was like kind of easy, like the reaction time like wasn't even that bad. And then by the end, there, like after three drinks, like I couldn't even move and then like get out of the way before it hit me. TxDOT targeted UT students because most alcohol-related crashes involve people between the ages of 18 to 35. If I can't even dodge a football, I don't, I could not even operate a, a car or anything like that. That'd be crazy. The agency says in 2016, alcohol-related crashes killed 1,005 people in Texas. TxDOT spokesperson Chris Bishop hopes this campaign brings that number down. Plan for a way to get home. Plan for a way to get where you're going while you're able to not after you've had a few drinks. Well, the reaction time is way slow. I gave the game a try for myself, and it was harder than it looked. The reaction time with three drinks is much slower than the rest. Nearly impossible for me to avoid getting hit. Now picture being on the road. I can't even imagine like driving. Like You would see someone coming, and you wouldn't, wouldn't even be able to get out of the way. Mothers Against Drunk Driving recommends letting someone else take the wheel, like public transportation, a taxi, or ride-sharing service. Is having one or two drinks or more with a friend worth ruining yours or somebody else's life? Wes Rappaport, KXAN News. We want to give you an idea of why campaigns like this are important. Here in Central Texas, 80 people died in crashes involving an intoxicated driver last year. Most of those crashes were in Travis County, followed by Hayes, Williamson, and Bastrop. More than half of them involved drivers between the ages of 18 and 35.